friends welcome to this recording I hope you're well I came to another beautiful place and once again I thought of you and I thought I would share this moment with you my name is Oje as you probably already know and you may be able to guess from some paraglide um, wings that you can see on the right side. I'm at Billing, which is at the top of Beer. And I'll just quickly show myself. Hello. So Billing is about 14 kilometers above Beer. 14 kilometers by road and it is possible to walk up here by the normal uh, road as well as uh, by a shortcut and I used the shortcut today I was feeling adventurous and I have to say that this is definitely the most treacherous road I've been up by some people warned me about it as well but uh, yeah, I'm just feeling adventurous these days and, and it was really, really fun. There were times when I didn't know where the road is leading to because there was no network. This is off the grid. There is no maps. There is no path. And there were times when I realized that there is no going back because I was climbing up on all fours. It would really not be possible to to go down the same way um, yeah it was dangerous but it was a lot of fun and there were just some moments of pure silence and that's how I realized that there can be silence in motion there can be silence in the middle of action, middle of doing things. And I felt that that was a better quality of silence than just sitting and doing nothing. I feel that when you're moving, when you're exerting yourself, then the body is being fully utilized and there's very little room for the mind to constantly chatter. I noticed that there was still chattering going on, but it was much less. And it was so rare that when some thought did come, I was able to realize that, hey, now a thought has come. And there were periods when there was just silence, the sound of the rustling leaves, the sound of little insects in the background, the sound of my heavy breath as I was climbing up. And that's it. And I was able to tune into the sounds and just be present to it. Another interesting thing that I found was many times when I didn't know where the trail actually is you know of course there were people that have been on that path before and so there were some there was some kind of good good path to follow because of course there have been other people who have climbed up as well and I realized that the more I thought about it the more difficult it became to try to figure out the best path but when I started going at it intuitively the path just kept showing itself so there were times when I was feeling oh there doesn't seem to be any any clear road beyond this point it's just going into stones and then a cliff and then as soon as I climb up there is another path that shows up there was this patch where I was walking through uh, the woods 
walking through some really high dense trees and there were all these um, leaves fallen down it was really hard to tell it was also on a slope it's hard to tell which is the right route and yet as if magically my feet were being guided in the right direction and I had this sense of knowing that I'm going on the right way and sure enough as I moved further ahead then it merged onto this big opening this big trail path many interesting reflections along the way so currently I'm in beer the last video I had recorded was in Tosh, that was in Parvati Valley. I've come to Deer to Deer Park Institute, which is a very interesting place. A bit of a hidden secret for people who don't know about it. But in my community and friends, um, it's actually quite well known and respected and a lot of people really look forward to coming here and so did I and it's an interesting mix between mindful spiritual people and people that love to communicate and share stories we go on hikes together we eat food together we go around beer to cafes we have interesting conversations. There are a lot of people uh, doing the vocation here, which has become so common. And uh, now I wish that I have a job that I can do remotely and just live in the mountains. And I'm kind of doing that as well. I do have my coaching sessions going on, and I am recording these videos. And it's as if work is happening all by itself and doesn't even feel like work at least from the conventional sense I am on vacation the silence is enjoyable to you as it is to me. I feel silence is really precious. I was having conversations with a friend about silence and I've been reading Ramana Maharishi recently. And he talks about silence and I realized that Mandukya Upanishad also talks about silence. There are some secrets which are right in front of us and yet seemingly hard to reach and well disguised. really have much else to say so I'm gonna end the recording now I wish you well